Welcome back to another edition of Boxing I Got Ete. So, um, wanted to do um, a quick little video on a couple of articles that uh, I was reading. Um, one was pretty funny because uh, Freddie Roach basically goes on to say that uh, how Spence is going to destroy um, Porter. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So, um, it says here, Roach says Spence carried his last opponent, Mikey Garcia, because he didn't want to hurt the guy in their fight last March. A lot of boxing fans had the same opinion as Roach, as it looked like Spence was taking it easy on Mikey. It's possible that Spence was thinking that he could maybe get a rematch if he didn't wipe Mikey Garcia out. So, let's see what he goes on to say here. All right. Right now, Crawford, uh, to me, when asked who's number one, uh, uh, to me, uh, Roach says, to me, it's Crawford. Uh, number one is um, Spence is number two. They need to fight each other. The winner will be the best fighter in the world, pound for pound, yes. Said Roach when asked if Spence will beat Sean Porter. Spence will kill him, much better fighter, different class. He carried Mikey Garcia. He didn't want to hurt the guy. Mikey Garcia wouldn't be in bad matchup for Pacquiao. Maybe they might make it at 144 or something like that. Uh, Manny walks around at 138 anyways. He has to eat extra meals to make 147. He only went to 147 for money. He would like to fight Mayweather one more time, but I think he's sleeping somewhere and crying. Thought Yard would win that fight, but when I found I found out he doesn't spar or do road work or something like that when he got knocked out in the end, we knew, we knew now why. I think that's a very good fight, a very hard fight, but I like the guy coming up, said Roach. So um, basically those are the answers ba uh, to the questions of like, you know, what he thought of the yard fight and basically what he thinks of the Canelo and um, Kolovka, uh fight. Um, let's see if he has anything else to add. Um, he also adds, I think Triple G won the first one against Canelo and in the second one, I think he got beat really bad, said Roach. Um, he lost every round. If the third fight happens, the same thing will happen, I think. Golovkin legs are shot. I, I still say high attitude training isn't good for, for fighters. And I would like to see that fight again. I think I would be uh, action-packed. Both guys would show up and blah, 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 blah. Basically talking about the Golovkin fight. I don't agree with Roach. I really have no interest in that fight. I do agree with him in the uh, on that you know on who won the fight, the second fight. Um, so I I just I don't I don't have no interest anymore. Um, so yeah, um, basically that's what uh, Roach had to say about that. Um, now the really interesting article that I really want to talk to you guys about is about Charlie Edwards. So. Um, it's reported that uh, Charlie Edward is going to be giving uh, Julio Cesar Martinez a rematch. Now, I found this very interesting and I th very doubtful at first, but I was like, I, was, I got excited because when I saw the fight, um, you know, and after how it ended and, you know, what they did to the Mexican, basically, you know, um, taking the championship away from him, you know, I, I felt that, I felt that it was a good, I, I, Yes, he hit him after the dude, you know, was on the ground, but I don't think it was intentional. Um, I think the fight should have still been called a win for him, you know. It, it's not fair, basically. He should have left the champion that night. But anyways, I'm glad he's getting a rematch at the time. I didn't think he was going to get a rematch. I thought this guy was just going to move on. But, hey, you know, he proved me wrong. Um, in the article, he goes on to say it's going to be probably early next year. Um, and, yeah. So let's see, let's see his statements on what he said exactly. Um, obviously, I got caught and I got hurt. The obvious mistake was not holding uh, a second about about his fight with Martinez. I come back and I watched the fight. The first round was close. I probably got it. The second round, I definitely got it. The third round, I came into it a lot better, but I got caught. I got hurt. I should have held. I didn't because he was so short and I felt uh, vulnerable. So I tucked up and I wasn't overwhelmed. So I thought. So I thought if I don't go down to one knee, I'm going to get swept off here. So I took a knee, and I believe where would have recovered. There was 40 seconds left in the round, and I would have regrouped and blah 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 blah. Personally, I don't think so. <laughs> I personally think he was really really hurt from that body shot. Um, I you and we you know people that follow boxing, we know 
how hard, well, we personally don't know because, you know, well, I, I used to box as a kid, but, you know, um, you know, not all of us know how it feels to get hit in the body, but I, I can tell you that it's not a good feeling, and it's, you know, from what I've seen in boxing, it is very, very, very hard to get up from a body shot, you know, only a few, you know, people do it, and, and like I said, it's hard, you know, it, it really hurts, and and usually the people, that when they do get up, they don't recover, like, yeah, they might stay up, but they're not the same fighter, so, you know, like I said, I'm happy the fight's gonna happen, I'm gonna be actually looking forward to it, I know they're not really high names in there, but when I saw the fight, it was a really good fight, so I was like, hey, you know, this has to happen again. Um, I'm glad for Julio Cesar. I hope he gets that uh, rematch. And I go, he finally gets that title because I know he deserves it. But um, leave me your thoughts on what you guys think about the Julio Cesar fight and the rematch. Who you guys got. Um, leave your comments. So please subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. And uh, don't be stranger. Let's get this boxing worldwide movement going. Peace.